Whoa, well, what is up, motherfuckers? It's the Worm Sun, and um, I'm here to discuss the possibility of there being a riot shield, or as we like to call it, the Doom Shield in Black Ops 4. Now, I know some of the, the uh, myths about the game have been debunked, but the one that's still up in the air is whether or not we're going to get a shield. Some people are like, oh, it's confirmed. Some people are like, oh, no, it's, it was just all hoopla and bullshit. But what remains to be seen is, now we had a riot shield in fucking uh, Ghosts. Now, it was plantable, but you couldn't see over the fucking thing. So is this one going to be plantable? And A, is it going to be plantable? B, are we going to be able to see over it? That I have... You know, we, I, I honestly know nothing about the game, but obviously everybody wants to uh, discuss this part of the game because that leads us to smashing motherfuckers and camping galore. So that one of the things that goes hand-in-hand hand with the camping, though, is that are they going to have decent spots for us to lay the fucking shield down? What if they have the shield, but we can't plant it? What if they plant the shield, but we can't see behind it? What if they don't allow us to have any shield at all? But what if they allow us to have the same shield that we had in Black Ops 2? Doom Shield Honda Civic passenger sized door with the window to see out of. That would be fucking perfect for Black Ops 4. Um, now, I know I made a previous video about. Uh, I said video. Previous video about the fact that Black Ops 4 looks a lot like uh, Overwatch per the commentary that some noob made on there, and. We still don't know what the fuck it's going to be like. It could be turn-based. We have no idea. I mean, Overwatch is, is crazy popular, so I, I wouldn't put it past Vonderhaar to really want to soak in those blood-soaked hepatitis C little claws of his and really steal all the, all the you know, momentum from Overwatch. But if they make it straight up, obviously it's a straight-up multiplayer game because there's no campaign. So this is they've been they've been doing this for three years. So they better put that fucking shield in there. But at the same time, putting the shield in there makes it so simple. Everybody knows what to expect with the shield, especially coming from fucking Worm Nation, putting that shield and really doing what they need to do. But it's not all fun and games when people know you got your fucking shield. Now, the great thing about Black Ops 2 is, A, there are tons of noobs on there, but uh, the only people that seem to play Call of Duty nowadays are Call of Duty enthusiasts because there's so much other good shit out there at the time black ops 2 came out the re they really didn't have a whole lot to go by and black ops 2 was just amazing it was just everything fell into place but now everybody knows our little gimmicks of the shield and all that and fucking you know opponent noobs and obviously it still works but i personally like to find new ways to fuck with people because it's not necessarily that oh worm you're a camper first and you're a troll second i'm a troll first and a camper second so that being said, I don't always want to go for what people are expecting. I like to really cram it in their ass with something they didn't see. So if we can get some kind of other thing going in that, you know, like, I don't know. I, I, I really don't see Call of Duty being very clever in, in, in ways of skullduggery and, um, you know, deception and cloak and dagger shit and all that. But if we can really fuck them up with, a, like, I don't know, maybe a fucking... Well, the, one of the greatest things was when you had the shield and you could, A... Uh, you know, you plant the shield and they, they run up and they try to pwn you. Or B, you just sit behind there like a fucking juggernaut and take their shit and smoke them. Or C, when you plant the claymore on the shield and blow them up. But it was only possible if the game mechanics didn't let you double jump over that shit. So if the shi- I, I, I know a lot of people are happy about the shield, but at the same time, if the game mechanics let you dodge the shield and they don't put any walls behind you, like if every single place throughout the game has three or four locations to get in, it's kind of fucking rough, even if you got the shield. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, this game, uh, there's no shield, but I, I'm tearing motherfuckers up. And it's actually a really fun game, but there's really not a whole lot to troll people with in the game. So I don't stay on too, too long. But with Black Ops 4 being relatively, you know, what, what is set in the year 2020? That's before Black Ops 2. So, I mean, if there's motherfuckers double jumping in 2020, but they're, oh, and I got them on that after death go after life rather but uh if there's motherfuckers running around double jumping on black ops 4 but they're not double jumping on black ops 2 something's wrong in that fucking there is a fly in the ointment so you know uh, you know people are going to be put to sleep faster than bill cosby's victims if we can't do anything fun in the game but that being said eh, people kind of expect the shield so like i said i know you guys are excited about the shield i know uh i know there's there's a lot of discussion about it and, and everybody's asking me what the fuck obviously i'm fucking obvi 
I'm fucking stoked that the shield might be in the game, but I wouldn't put all my eggs in one basket. Like I said, it's it's Vonderhaar. Everybody seems to... It's kind of weird. It's like the elections. People shit on the guy four years beforehand, and then, then once uh, once election time comes around and somebody else comes up, people are like, oh, why wasn't it him? Kind of like uh, the whole Mitt Romney situation where everybody's like, oh, he's a, he's the Antichrist. But then, you know, in 2016, they're like, Romney, why aren't you president? And it's like, because of you, motherfucker. Same thing goes with the Vonderhaar. He doesn't always put good shit out. Black Ops 3 was subpar at best. And a lot of people were bitching at the end of Black Ops 2. But then when you get some real bad shit that comes out, people are like, oh, Vonderhaar puts out the absolute best fucking games of the world. So I, I don't I, I don't view Vonderhaar as, as a homie. He fucks me routinely. And he doesn't even give me a kiss. And I don't know about you guys, but I just like to get kissed when I get fucked. So if Vonderhaar puts out some subpar bullshit, I'm not going to be surprised Obviously, I'm going to try to fuck up his game as much as I've fucked up his really popular one in Black Ops 2. Um, you know, and, and they're probably going to add next year uh, Black Ops 1 Remastered with all this. The fact that they're adding bullshit into the game, and don't get me wrong, Modern Warfare 2 is fucking dope. But the fact that we can't play the multiplayer kind of scares me, because I didn't play the campaign. I don't know what the fucking game's about. I don't know what this game's about. Obviously, I'm, I'm you know, assuming this game's about killing Nazis like Brad Pitt and fucking Inglorious Bastards, but I have no idea. This game could be about fucking the flying spaghetti monster for all I know. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I'm not too, uh, set in stone on what Vunderhar has to offer me besides his big fat dingus in my mouth. Because that's what he seems to be cramming down everybody's throat when he releases these subpar fucking games. But he's had three years to work on this one. So, if he fucks us this time, guys, we're, we're, we're out key. But the least he could do is at least make us think he cares about us by handing us our fucking doom shield. That being said, it's and the worm son, and I'm gonna click my heels together three times and go back to Africa. Anyway, stay safe, bitches. I will see you guys on game, and depending on whichever game you guys are following me on, and make sure to check my uh, Twitch because I'm always trying to bother people on that live. You can see all my fuck-ups. LOL! Anyway, peace.